Welcome to my channel. My name is Angel Chies, as a post, and this is my channel. On today's episode, I'll be teaching you how to tie the river right wrapper. It's a very simple way of tying the river right wrapper. You know, the last video I posted about the waist dance and how the rivers people imitate the fish. A lot of people were sending me emails, knocking on my door. Oh, how did you get that costume? How did you get the wrapper? How did you tie it? And here we are today, I'm teaching you how to tie the wrapper. It's very easy, very, very easy. What you need, of course, is a piece of wrapper like this. This is about um, two yards plus a wrapper. You need your rope. And you need somebody to assist you. If someone is assisting you, it'll be faster. So it's very easy. Now the first thing, this is my rope. The first thing is to take the wrapper like this. Make sure it's the front, it's not the back. This is the front. You turn it into two, you fold it into two. Like this. That was how I got my costume that I used for that reverse dance. So you fold it into two, please come and help me. Very long. To be too long, it will not be fine. The beauty is um, making it look full. It's just a piece of wrapper I used, but I folded it two times. But people thought it was two wrappers, but it's just one piece of wrapper. So you fold it into two. If I leave it like this, it will be too long and it will not be fine. Now, the second fold, the, the first fold, they are all equal. The edges are all equal. You fold them to, to, to have equal edges into two. But the second fold, they won't be equal. You just fold it a little like this. Like this. So, it won't be too short. Fold it. So, it won't be too short. Now, you take your rope. This is what this is for. Take your rope like this. And pass it on the Fold it on the rope like this. Come closer. As you're folding, you're also like drawing the wrapper. You know, the rope doesn't have to be too long. No, you can make it the rope one yard, one and a half yard. It doesn't have to be too long. So you fold your rope like this. Fold your wrapper like this. So you see now, it now looks like double. But it's just one piece of wrapper. So you take it. This is for the waist. Take it like this. This is how I got my wrapper. So this is for the first one. And the one I use for my chest is just a simple, it's as simple as it can be. So this is how I got the wrapper. This is it's just a piece of wrapper, one piece. You fold the first one into two equal edges. The second one, you don't make it Equal. So like this, this is a wrapper now, and um, this is a wrapper, a single piece. If you want to make it, and if you see the back, the design is directly at the back, at my bum bum, exactly at the bum bum. That's what you should do. You know, the reverse pool, if they use George, they use a real George, the design will be directly at the bum bum, and of course, in front too. So you arrange it in such a way that it will come to the front, that this design will be in the front and this will be at the back. Now let me show you how I got the other one. So, so this is how you get the down one, like this. Very simple, very easy, very neat, very beautiful. Now, for the chest, this is the head tie of the whole wrapper. There are usually three pieces of wrapper in Africa. 
Nigeria, West Africa, we, that we tie three pieces of rubber. One that is big, the other not as big as this, but not too small, maybe lesser than this one with half yard or so inches. And this is another one you tie it under. And this is the hair tie. But for this costume, the river right people, you just tie as I've shown you. Now for the chest, how I got my chest costume. This is the second wrapper. You just fold it into two. This is a wrapper. Fold it into two. And um, put it across the chest. Like this. It gets so put it across your chest. Tie it for you. Come and tie it for you. To tie it for you across the chest. Now this is a variation. If you do it like this, if you don't, if you want, you can tie it like this, it will work. But you must use this. This is called the clary. The riverine people have big, big beads, you know, very heavier ones than this. So if you're using only this, you just have to use this clary to pack it up. But in that video, I didn't use this clary because I used a third piece of wrapper. And this is how I achieved it. Hold. Like I told you, you would always need somebody to assist in tying this. Yes, you squeeze it like this, opposite direction. I'm going this way. No, don't be moving, just stay like that. I'll be stunning it. Opposite direction. So, I now passed it here, under. That's it. You learn of that video. This is what I did. I'm showing you how I got, how I achieved that costume. Because people were asking me, how did you tie that so beautifully? It was so beautifully done. So here you are. Just pass it under like this. But it's not going to be too firm like this. You can tie it like this if you want. You can first tie it here, stop tying it up, or just take it like this without tying it up. Tie it to your neck like this. <laughs> This is it, but I prefer tying it first here so it will form like a bra. I prefer the first one I did. I tied it, I had to tie it here first. It will just be like a bra and it's very beautiful. Then you take it to your neck. So with this pattern now, I don't need the clarity. I don't need that big bit. This just works fine for me. And of course, I wear the waist to be like this. It's over like this. I use two beads for that. I put it over like this and this. Now, some of you are also asking me, how did you get, what did you use to beautify your legs? They, they were so beautiful, the white paints and everything. It's just very simple. It's something we call unzu. Unzu is like a chalk, but it's not the regular chalk that I used to write on the board. It's mainly made for the skin. It's made to beautify the skin. The unzu, you just break a piece, put, dissolve it in water, dip your fingers, and you make the beautiful pieces. Now you can use it for your leg, you can use it for your face with water. We you dissolve it in water. You can use it for your face, you know, make any kind of painting. For the for the you just make any kind of design with it. You can use it with black, you know, make any kind of painting. So that was how I achieved my costume and makeup for the waist dance video. Something that is very important in that reverse costume, you must use if you see a reverse, a typical reverse person that wants to dance, 
you will hold at least you will hold at least one handkerchief. But mostly, the typical African traditional riverine person will hold two handkerchiefs. Do you know why? Because I told you the waist dance is in an imitation of the fish. The riverine people are mostly fishermen and women, so they live with the fish, they swim, they know how to swim, they interact with aquatic creatures so much. So the the two white handkerchiefs are to show the two fins of the fish, the left and the right fins. So when if you see a fish swimming, it's moving like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So that's what the river ride people do. That's why they always hold two handkerchiefs to imitate to, to, to replace or replicate the two the fins of the fish, the left and right fins of that's why when they move their base they move one, two, three. One, two, three. Like I told you in that video. Okay, if you now watch the video, the link is right there in the video description. You can go back and watch it and now understand what I really mean by my, my costume and um, and everything that I have just explained. Thank you so much for your comments, for the emails. Thank you so much. I also like you to try what I've just done. Costume yourself like this and let me see. Tag me, send it to my, just one 30 seconds or one minute as it was. Send it to my email and let me see what you have done. Thank you so much. Remember, my name is Angel T. Yes, A's and Pauls. And um, this is my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like, share. Just do whatever you want to do. Keep being crazy.